Hey guys, Eric Kyle here, publisher of Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine, and I'm excited to be up at the Bay Harbor Boat Show right here in beautiful Petoskey, Michigan. And I love this show by far. It's one of my favorite boat shows throughout the course of the whole year. While I'm here, I'm here to introduce you guys to some new and exciting, innovative products. And I'm also with Hinkley Yachts, Marty Letts. Marty, how are you, sir? Great. Eric, how are it's you? It's always a pleasure to see you, my man. Likewise, likewise. Hinkley Yachts have come out with something pretty incredible. Uh, we're sitting on it right now. We're going through the marina here at the Boat Show at Bay Harbor. Tell me a little bit about what it is that we're sitting on and, and, and why people want to know about it. Well, this is the very first all-electric luxury yacht. Nice. And it is built uh, entirely of carbon fiber, epoxy infused, and there's some really neat things. And it's really it's built really as a concept boat, although happy to take an order from you. Sure. <laughs> but what we're demonstrating here, Eric, is really what we think are state-of-the-art technologies today and what might be state-of-the-art tomorrow. Yeah. All electric power, no emissions. That's, of course, a big one. Yeah. We can. This boat can go 40 miles and it can uh, go up to 25 miles an hour. So, Wow. Pretty, pretty substantial for electric boat. <laughs> um, aside from the carbon fiber, we have many of the pieces of hardware around are made with 3D printing. Okay. Um, just again, and this here looks like wonderful teak, right? Yeah. Artisanal teak, all hand painted. Kidding. All this here, that's hand painted. It is not teak. Okay. Yeah. No. So. A um, lot of things that, in a way, are not traditional to Hinkley, but yeah. Hinkley's never been one to kind of sit back. Yeah, yeah. One thing that absolutely shocks me when I come aboard this boat, silence. You wouldn't know that we were running right now, yeah, and, yeah. and we've got the engines going, work, work. Yeah tooling right along, but it's completely silent. Yeah. It's like I'm on my sailboat. How great is that, huh? <laughs> Go through a marina like this, not disturb anybody. We can whisper to each other. Right, yeah. right, right. That's incredible. No, and I guess that's what all electric boats would like to it. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we, we also know that there are many places now that restrict um, combustion engines. Um, Lake Geneva in Switzerland, for instance, all electric. So we think there's going to be a market there uh, in the future and probably the very near future. Now, the first thing I think about when I see a boat like this, and I've seen tenders in some of the larger yachts, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is absolutely ideal for that because it's yeah. going to fit in that space perfectly. Yep. It's going to save our fuel. 40 miles is more than enough range for one of these boats when they're just ba basically going back and forth. And it's a, it's a great boat to go out in the day in, but it's also got some performance features, Marty. That it gets, a, it gets up and goes, its, yeah. yeah. It separates from just a regular tent. Yeah, no, exactly. And, you know, it's not just a tender, too. I mean, you think about how a lot of people do their boating. It's just going out for a nice cruise, go somewhere for dinner, come back. 40 miles is plenty of time, so. Well, you can make it to Charlevoix back in this, can't you? Absolutely. From Petoskey, I mean, yeah. that's a no small right. little feat there. Right. Go so, across the Bay, uh, Harbor Springs and back. Plenty of places to go. We think places like even uh, Burt Lake or Mullet Lake, yeah. even Walloon. Yeah. Ideal. Yeah. Ideal. So. And if you're up in an area like maybe the Lake Simcoe area or the Chain of Lakes or Lake Minnetonka or up in George County, where there's a lot of things within about a 10, 15, 20 mile radius that you want to go to, mm -hmm. a boat like this would be ideal. Well, I'd love to get this out to Lake Minnetonka. I think there'd be a lot of right. people love to see it. Right. Our uh, our next venue, however, is down in Chicago, and oh, uh, so we'll be down there at the Chicago Yacht Club and okay. having this boat on display. So it should be a fun uh, a fun program. Do we get to play with this boat up in the Great Lakes all summer, or is this somebody? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one and only. This okay. is the one and only boat, and okay. I have to share it with the other sales regions uh, in our company. So. Uh, I'm fortunate to have it for a couple of weeks. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Some of the appointments on this boat are very unique. Talk to me a little bit about some of the design and ideas that went into the boat. Well, it was certainly designed as a social boat, yeah. um, you know, great layout. Um, yet, you know, we want to get going and go fast. We can put up a little windshield here. Oh, that's slick. I love that. Yeah. So that's kind of neat. Um, of course, there is an onboard 
head. So, uh, yeah. but we don't even know where it is yet. I just find. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, all one level. Again, just a, a nice, entertaining platform. I noticed there's a huge compartment right in front of the helm station here as well. You can store the cover for the boat. There's a lot of space. Yeah, there's a lot cool of storage, storage space. back yep. here. Additional storage. Yep. Space we don't we well. don't waste space with fuel tanks. Yeah, yeah, which is nice. <laughs> but we do have big batteries. But uh, you yeah. can literally fit seven, eight people on this boat pretty comfortably. Oh, I think so. Yeah, maybe even yeah. more. Of course, the other neat feature, and you can't see it from the camera, but is this nice little joystick here. Yeah. Which you know, Hinkley uh, invented the joystick for recreational use, yeah. and um, so we're still doing it. And what is the length of this boat? Twenty-eight feet. 28 feet. Now, if you were to put a price tag on a boat like this so that you could buy it and just go use it all day long, what kind of dollar value does a boat like this have? Well, we're talking about 550000 Okay, for 28 okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's an all-electric boat, so you'll never have to worry about using fuel. Exactly. Which is nice. No, just no stopping at the in. fuel dock anymore. Yeah. Some boats at 28 feet will use $550,000 for the fuel. <laughs> Over their lifetime. Their lifetime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it is. It's powered with a normal 50 amp shore cord. Okay. Nice. And uh, the fast charge is four hours. Mm -hmm. And otherwise, it takes about eight hours overnight to charge. So, certainly plenty of um, battery life to get you all day and then just plug it in at night and you're ready to go. Okay. Now, also, I noticed here at the helm. And we took some images of this earlier. So talk to me a little bit about what I'm looking at here is our brief. Well, in the film. right. What you're looking at is uh, the amount of um, kilowatts that's being used, the speed, of course, mm -hmm. and then the battery life. And so this is going to give us basically uh, our battery life and then the distance to go or time to go, depending on how you look. Right, okay. right. Okay. And we have the same here, if I can figure out how to... Right there, there we go. The screen down there. Yeah, so we can pick the screen there. Now, when this boat giddy up and goes, what kind of speed are we looking at? 20, 25 miles an hour. 25 miles an hour. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. all electric boat. And I gotta imagine, kind of like a Tesla or a, a Prius, it's it's not a, um, it's just bam, you're off. Well, there's I mean, no transmission. The, torque, the just... torque is incredible. Yeah, yeah. There is four bladed props on here with a lot of pitch to them, and the, yeah, they, it gets up and goes. Well, it's a beautiful boat, Marty. Tell me a little bit more about if I'm not up here at the Bay Harbor Boat Show to come and see the boat in person. Um, how can I get in touch with you guys to be able to see the boat, inquire about the boat, find out more information about the boat? Well, how can I do that? Well, uh, obviously our website, www.hinkleyachts.com. Mm -hmm. And this particular boat model is called the... Dasher. Dasher. Gotcha. Dasher. And Dasher is named after the very first picnic boat. Oh, really? Yep. Built in 1994. So we thought it appropriate that um, Dasher, the picnic boat, really broke all the grounds. Yeah. And we feel it appropriate to name this boat, which we think is breaking a lot of ground. Well, and I've been seeing in a lot of different media outlets over the last six months. And uh, this is just a, an incredible experience for me to be able to be on the boat, check it out in person, to have an opportunity to talk to you about it. And so we're going to, I assume, just go to the website, Finkley.com, to find out more information about where the dealers are and so forth. Well, you and can our call area. me. Okay, and how can I get in touch with you directly? Um, my um, cell phone is, is listed on the on the website. I have an office in uh, Harbor Springs, um, and obviously uh, email as well, mletz at hinkleyachts.com. And I take care of the entire Great Lakes region. For Hinkley Yachts. For Hinkley Yachts. Whether you're in the Thousand Islands area, you're up in Duluth, Minnesota, the whole direct. Yep. I love it. I love it. Yep. Now, where am I going to be able to see this boat again if I'm, uh, again, not fortunate enough to be able to make it to uh, Bay Harbor? It's going to go down after Chicago. It's going to go back out east. So it'll okay. be in Portsmouth. Okay. Um, and then after that, I believe it's going to Annapolis. And then boat show down there? Uh, it'll be at the Annapolis show this fall, probably. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Will it be down in Lauderdale or Newport for a chance? Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's really been making the boat show circuit okay. around. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful stuff. Thank you so much, Marty. Great. Nice to be with you. Hinkleyachts.com, guys. That's where you want to go. Find out more information about the Dasher boat line. It's absolutely incredible. If you're in the Great Lakes, make sure you go by and see Marty up in Harbor Springs. It's mletz at hinkleyachts.com. And uh, well, we appreciate your time with us today. We'll see you out on the water.